What is up, YouTube? It's Lions Fan Express coming at you with that man to man press, and we have some more breaking news regarding our Detroit Lions. Uh, it just came out by Dave Briquette of the Detroit Lions Free Press that the Detroit Lions are releasing Michael Brockers and freeing up uh, some cap space. And yeah, this is honestly, I'm not surprised at this at all, but it's definitely kind of just the start of the 2023 NFL offseason. Um, he was actually, you know, one of my picks to be cut this uh, offseason because it just honestly it made most uh, sense just given the fact that you know he didn't really play uh, he was a healthy scratch for half the season um, and he was kind of older and he took up a lot of the cap space so all these things given uh, you know thought it just made a lot of sense to do this move but honestly you know I wish Michael Brockers all the best uh, when it comes to his career if he does continue to pursue a career um, he was a really class act guy uh, a great leader you know, he was captain on this team right away. Uh, so that speaks volumes that he came in right away and was a leader. Um, he was a veteran. Uh, and, you know, he came from the Rams and we ended up trading for him um, when Brad Holmes first came here as the Detroit Lions manager. And I was really excited about that pick. Um, I think that he was um, a really good veteran player to, you know, bring in and plug in. And while he maybe didn't play up to the contract extension that he got here in Detroit, you know, he definitely, uh, you know, made a fan in myself and a lot of others as well, just based off of his character and his, uh, you know, how he carries himself on and off the field. So, you know, this, again, it makes sense. I think it was mutually agreed upon. So Michael Brockers is definitely um, a free agent. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see if he continues his uh, NFL career and maybe tries to join another team, possibly going back to LA. Or, you know, I, honestly, I kind of always predicted that he'd be a great uh, coach um, especially if you know if the Lions want to open up the opportunity, we do have a, a defensive line uh, position open now. Now that Todd Walsh uh, left and Michael Brockers did play defensive line, so even if he you know could come in as a defensive line assistant, you know that might be an opportunity for him to grow if he wants to uh, start a coaching career in the NFL. But um, yeah, you know I just wanted to get you guys this uh, breaking news. Again, a lot of breaking news tonight. It like it's like the Lions were like. We were trying to go to bed, and then Brad Holmes was like, no, no, we're, we're going to, you know, uh, make some uh, moves while you guys are trying to sleep. So I was like, man, I have to get this out here now. And we'll definitely talk about it more in the morning um, as we get maybe some more details about this. But as of right now, uh, according to Dave Bouquet, um, it does free up $10 million in cap space. And I believe it only uh, has like maybe 3 to $4 million in dead cap. So... That's automatically bumping up the 18 mil that the Lions had going into the offseason to 28 mil. And that's going to continue to increase, I suspect, because unfortunately, Michael Brockers will not be the only cap casualty uh, that is cut this offseason. So stay tuned for more updates on the Lions players getting cut uh, and just, you know, coaches getting extended on uh, just news and rumors that are, you know, kind of coming to life before our very own eyes. Um, yeah. And if you guys like the content, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, and as always, go Lions.